Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Hi, this is Kyle with HKN, and today we are going to be doing a basic diode problem in series for ECE 3221. So the first thing we're going to want to know about diodes is that diodes have a set voltage drop across them, and this is VD. And since we are dealing with silicon here, VD is going to be equal to 0 0.7. There are really three types of diodes. You have germanium, silicon, and gallium arsenic. For the most part, in this course, we're going to be dealing with silicon. So 0 0.7 is a very important value. Uh, next, we're going to go look at ID, and we're going to see that it's flowing through the positive to the negative. So we're going to have negative uh, regular behavior. And if we look over here, we can see that we have the forward current. This is what we're going to be dealing with here. And then it comes down, levels off, and then we have this area right here where it drops down. This is actually where a Zener diode comes into play, which is you intentionally flip it because you get some interesting things that happen. But for right now, we're just going to deal with the forward current right here. All right, so next we're going to be finding VR, which is the voltage drop across the resistor. For that, we're going to find VR as the current source, sorry, the voltage source, which is VDD, minus VD, which is the voltage drop across the diode. And for this case, VR is just going to be equal to 8 volts minus 0 0.7 volts. That's going to give us a nice round value of 7.3 volts. So that's a VR. All right, now finally, we're going to want to find ID. ID is going to be equal to IR, since this is in series. And we can just use Ohm's law for this one. And we can have the voltage, which is 7.3, because we have the voltage drop across the diode. And so we have 7.3 coming in here and 0 down here. So we're going to have a voltage drop of 7.3 across the resistor. And we're going to divide this by the resistance, which is 2.2 kilo ohms. And that's going to give us a value of 3.32 milliamps. All right, and those are our three values for this diode problem. When we look at the diagram here, oh, I missed that, ready? When we look at the diagram here, you can see it's a diode. Oh tap, tap. <laughs> <laughs>